This is the new Gmail. In general, it has the same look, but you'll notice a new Compose button and an updated font. There are also plenty of new features. First, on the right-hand side, you can click to view and use other programs right in your mail. For example, Tasks, Google Keep for taking notes, and Google Calendar. So you can view appointments as well as create new meetings or events, add guests, send invitations, all right from your inbox. With Tasks, you can actually take an email you received, drag it in and create a task directly from the email. If you want to customize the task even more, click to edit it and add a due date, for example. If you want a little bit more room for your email, go ahead and close that right sidebar. You can even close the left sidebar where the labels are listed by clicking on the main menu button in the top left corner, and then you have more room to view your email. Just click main menu button again to show the left sidebar again. Another way to customize your view is with display density. Access this by clicking on the settings gear and then choosing display density. And then you can choose from the default, comfortable, and compact views. Note that only in the default view, right from your inbox, you can click on an attachment and view it without having to open an email. Next, you can take action on your emails directly from your inbox. Hold your mouse over an email and to the right you'll see options for archive, delete, mark as read or mark as unread, right in line in your inbox. And now with conversation view on, you can snooze your emails. Snoozed emails leave your inbox until the date and time you choose. So click on the snooze icon to the right of an email and choose when you want the message to come back to your inbox. If you don't like any of the options, choose pick date and time and then select the date and time you want the message to come back to your inbox. If you don't have the option to snooze, in settings turn conversation view on. Looking for a snoozed email? You can find them all on the new snooze label in the list on the left. And it will show the date and time the email will come back to your inbox there. When the message comes back to your inbox, it'll show up at the top of your inbox almost like a new message, but it will have the indication that it's a snooze message and it will say about when you snoozed it. So here, snoozed about an hour ago. Another new feature is called nudges, reminders to follow up on or respond to an email. So like the message you see here, received three days ago, reply. If you have received a message that asks for something of you and you haven't replied, you might receive this nudge. Or if you send an email asking something of someone else and you haven't received a response, that message might pop back up into your inbox, also reminding you to follow up. You can turn these off if you prefer. Go into settings and find the nudges section and either enable or disable the options as you choose and then scroll to the bottom and save your changes. New Gmail also has smart replies. You might notice that when you open some emails you'll see some suggested replies at the bottom of the message in blue font. These are the smart replies. You can click one of these to use it in your response and send it as is, or modify or add words to the response. It's just a quick way to get your message started with less typing. If you used labs before, they are now permanent features in Gmail. So in settings, you'll find them under the advanced tab now. And if you've never used labs before, check out the advanced tab, scroll through and enable features that you're interested in. And once you've enabled what you want, scroll to the bottom and save changes so you can use those. And that's new Gmail.